So let's do an example. Let's suppose that you earn $30,000 per year. And that you have a 50% chance of contracting an illness that will cost you $20,000 to treat. Okay, so 50% chance of illness, and the illness costs uh, $20,000. Okay? <clears throat> now, let's assume that your utility from income is given by the following. If you have $10,000 of income, that would be equal to 10 utils. Okay? If you have $16,000, that would be equal to 14 utils. Okay, so again, it's gone up, right? We have more money and our happiness has gone up. If you have $20,000, that would be equal to 16 utils. And if you have $30,000, that would be equal to um, 18 utils. Okay. So what we can see here is that going from 10,000 to 20,000 would be an increase in six utils. Going from 20,000 to 30,000, however, is only an increase in two. So this exhibits diminishing marginal utility of income. Now I should point out this person has a very quick deceleration or a very quick diminishment of their utility, which will come into effect later. As before, we can, ex we can calculate the expected value of this person's utility. Okay, so we can do it for income, but we can also do it for utility now that we know these numbers. Okay, so what we would do is we take the probability of their illness times the utility of their income when they're, when they're sick. Okay, so let's write that down, which would be 0 0.5 times uh, their income if they are sick. Okay, so that would be 30,000 minus 20,000, so we'll call that U of 10 grand, plus 0 0.5 times their utility if they are not sick, in this case, $30,000. So their utility of $30,000. Now, referring back to our chart here, that would be 0 0.5 times the utility of $10,000, which is 10, plus 0 0.5 times the utility of 30, which is 18 utils, okay? And that is gonna be equal to five plus nine, which is 14. So this person's expected utility per year is 14 utils. Now actuarially fair insurance would cost them $10,000 per year. And I'll leave it to you to verify this. This means that their income per year, net of expenses, would be a constant $20,000. Okay, so we'll take this 14 and we'll keep it in mind. Now, if they're sick and they have this actuarially fair insurance, insurance pays the cost of their premiums, okay? And so they'll have $20,000. So we'd have a probability of them having some utility of $20,000. And if they're not sick, they have to pay uh, $10,000 for their insurance uh, bill. So that'd be $30,000 minus the 10. And so that would be 0 0.5 times the utility of 20 grand. Okay, and that would be equal to uh, 0 0.5 times 16 plus 0 0.5 times 16. And that is equal to 16. So notice what's really interesting here is that with insurance, with the guaranteed payment of $20,000 per year, or rather the guaranteed income of $20,000 per year, this person would have an expected utility every single year of 16. And that number is bigger than the 14 that they would have. And so this person is happier with insurance even if there is no financial difference between having this insurance and not. As a result, this person would definitely buy the insurance and it would make them happier to do so. Now, we can see <clears throat> what would happen here if they didn't buy insurance. In some years, they would have a 
utility of 10, and in other years they would have a utility of 18, which means that over a two year span, they would get a total of 28. All right, this is uh, the no insurance uh, utility. But if they have this insurance, they get 16 every single year. So this means over two years, they get 32, and this would be their insurance uh, utility. <clears throat> so even though from a financial standpoint, their total income is exactly the same over the course of their lifetime, their overall happiness increases by, from 28 to 32 just by buying the insurance. To quantify this a little bit, this person is actually 14% happier with insurance than they are without. Again, even though there is no financial difference whatsoever between these two states of the world. Frankly, this should completely blow your mind. 